Hey, what's up guys? This is Fritz and this is the I'm going to call it the positioning offset tutorial. It's a transition. It's um I'll show you two examples and two edits I recently did. But I just want to first off say thank you so much for 5000. Uh that's a pretty big number. That's a milestone. That's kind of well, I'm halfway to my goal, which is 10,000. So I'm halfway there and I'm at 5000. So thanks so much for that. So here we go. Here's the examples of what I'm showing you. So I'm just going to play him real quick so you can see here we've got the kill and then it comes shooting up from the bottom in that offset transition so in case you missed it I'll play it again um, I'll play it from this one though this is on a different edit so here we goes the shot and then it comes in from the bottom like that and it's all cool and pretty so that's it um, I've got my after effects open already I'm just gonna drag my clip down into the composition there we go alright so now I'm not gonna add any like super effects on this I'm just gonna pretty much leave it like you know normal and I'm gonna find where the uh, kill cam starts so right around four seconds just use where it starts so I'm just gonna split it here and hit control shift and D now I got two layers and now I'm going to kinda of find where I want it to shoot in so right here is good I'm just gonna drag this top layer which is the kill cam so it's on top so see there's the kill cam if I turn it off there's the bottom one it's on top of the plus 500 so first thing we want to do is hit P on our keyboard for position and we're gonna keyframe it and bring it down so not that one it would be the uh, 360 and we can just put negative in front of it so negative 360 and it'll go up if you want to shoot it from the top or if you want to shoot it from the bottom just double that number so we'll just throw it right here for now it doesn't have to be perfect right there and it's just gonna come shooting up so right right now we have it at 640 and 1083 it's a good number there'll be black bars so what we want to do is go over like just a little bit we can adjust it later so like right here and we're going to change the number back up to 360 so just like that so if we go frame by frame you can see all it does is simply come shooting in from the bottom that's it so that's the first part second part is now how we keep it going so that would be offset so we're going to search up offset and there it is right here we're going to just click and drag it on and beautiful so now you can see here if we mess with it it keeps like repeating and going up and down and it's a pretty cool effect so what we want to do is just keyframe it right here so um, I'll zoom in on the timeline here so you can see the keyframes and I'll show you exactly how you need to set it up uh, so we've got our first keyframe here so that would be this one and that is the one where it's on the bottom and then it goes up we want to have our red cursor on when it goes up, so that would be right here over the second keyframe we made, and we're going to keyframe the shift center too. Then we're going to go go over a little bit. Uh, we'll go over, I don't know, a little bit more than what we did. And what we want to do is raise it up. Or, uh, so to do that, we'd have to have a 360 would be the number. We're going to put a negative in front of it and then hit star. So that would be that little button here uh, right there that little one and we're gonna hit I don't know 11 so that would make it go up and if we see uh, if we just take a little gander at it you can see it's shooting up right now so the reason it has to be negative is otherwise it starts going down and when you hit the star and then 11 or 13 or 15 it has to be an odd number otherwise it ends kinda halfway through and that's not good so we've got the basic animation done now what we're gonna do is highlight this the last keyframe we made right click and hit easy ease and do that to the first keyframe as well easy ease so now what we want to do is we're gonna open our bar graph editor and we're gonna make it smoother so we're gonna highlight the two keyframes for offset so here we go here's the two keyframes hit the bar graph editor and what I'm gonna do is click down here on this kind of thing at the bottom of this mountain and we're just gonna drag it in but as far as we can go so right there and that way it's more of a gradual um, kind of slide down I guess and we're gonna do that for the other one so the very first keyframe we see for, for the position again make sure it's easy ease highlight both of these so the two keyframes for position hit the bar graph and we're gonna go to the one on the bottom of the mountain or the graph I guess and we're just gonna drag it in so that way it comes steeper so that's pretty much it uh, the only other thing I could say you could do is add some directional blur because that always makes it look really nice. So I'm just going to keyframe the blur length at about 40. Go to the end where it's all done. So right around here. 
and change it to zero and that's it you don't don't have to really worry about that too much uh it's pretty straightforward do a ram preview and toy with it if uh we'll be able to kind of get a good idea here so you can see here it comes shooting up and if for whatever reason one seems to be faster than the other so let's say it comes up and then this uh, the offset one um which is the long two keyframes that we see if for whatever reason it's faster just t change the value on the negative 360 star so like i don't know maybe try seven or five even it's up to you um i recommend using black bars for this effect or scaling in because you can see you kind of get this weird thing on the top and bottom i usually just cover it with my black bars but you know scaling in works just as good so that's the effect guys i hope you enjoyed uh you really you can tweak the effect as much as you want there's no right and uh, wrong way to do it this is um the basics so here you go i hope you enjoyed thanks for 5k like the video subscribe if you're new i'm fritz i'm out see ya